Yeah, this is Stampy's Tubely Toes. So, um, my partner Stampy's Lovely Toes kicked me out from recording, so I gotta send all my videos here. That's fine. Why is my... Oh, that's not my channel, retard. But yeah, we're gonna be watching, uh, how great jump scares are made in horror movies versus bad jump scares movies insider. So this video might be a little scary. Guys! Guys! I'm super scared. It's it's 10 a.m. so it's daylight. So we're all good. So let's just start. Hello? Ah! This I is already know that jump scare silly. The Conjuring. Compare that to this reveal of Jason in Jason Takes Manhattan. The first one is much scarier. Scary. Don't just take my word for they it. Were super, Jason has super certainly scary. had his scary moments. Oh but my. one of the main reasons Jason takes Manhattan is ranked so low is because it, it doesn't sucks. follow the rules for making a movie scary. Why are there so many rules? And while there's no exact formula, there are it's certain time tested mm. secrets you can include to create that? a truly yeah, terrifying jump scare. According to this woman, my students kind of uh, jokingly know him as Dr. Horror, who has a PhD in horror. So, jump scares are based on kind of a theory of what fear is. Fear Earth. is kind of the Guys, who's that behind the, the curtain? The time in between oh I think something might happen Run! to when it actually yeah! happens. You can usually tell when a jump scare is Light out. The lighting dims. Oh no, I don't know this the one. Editing slows I don't know this out. one. Things might start moving yeah. by themselves. Oh, I know this one. And Thanks. the music gets, well, This has a jump scare? Oh, shut up! Uh oh, I don't know this one. Hello. But those are the more obvious clues. So what is the first oh thing that helps build to a jump I know that one, and I still I got two right. guys. You get some type of indication right. that something scary may be likely to happen. Uh-huh. The closet door opens slightly. Hey, guys! There's a window open. There's a weird noise coming from the corner. Ow. There are a few famous audio examples of this from classic horror. In the Friday the 13th series, oh, you know something up. bad is about to happen when you hear Jason's... What the When you hear the famous... I played that in band. In Jaws. But the breadcrumbs we're talking about are often Hello. more subtle. Like in this scene from the 2002 film Below. The character's reflection What's starts that? to lag in the mirror. So you begin to get that feeling that something is very wrong. What the heck? Something even more scary what is, is about to happen. Now let's take a look back at oh that wardrobe scene in oh the Oh no, country. I don't like There's this There are several breadcrumbs that lead us to the final witch scare. We first have the sound of the closet door banging. Bang, bang, then bang. the visual of the girl walking in her sleep. I'm so glad I've seen this movie. Notice the camera hardly I moves like, and the wardrobe like never leaves the wide shot. <laughs> And then we get the sound of even more banging. Only this time, the girl is back in her bed, so we know it's not her anymore. What's up there, guys? Oh, crap, I missed it. What's Cue up? the creepy music. It's in the closet, guys. Each breadcrumb raises our level of anxiety a little bit more, like a balloon gradually getting more inflated until it finally pops. Hello? There are oh no breadcrumbs in the Jason Takes Manhattan song. Oh, shut up. In fact, we don't even hear the classic ki 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 ma 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 until after <laughs> we know Jason is silly. already right behind them. Once we see and hear That's these the clues, it doesn't mean the scare is going to come right away. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. We are not dealing with Sinister. No, thank you, guys. I'm sorry. I am a little beep, but I'm not dealing with Sinister yet. The scene until the tension is too true. You have to make the viewer wait by dragging out the scene until the tension yeah, is too much no, to bear. I'm not dealing with any sinister jump scares. Alfred Hitchcock famously said, it's "There's what? no terror in the bang, only in the anticipation." Bang! Once the gun is fired, the fear's done. It's over with. There's nothing left to be scared. Yeah, yeah, Once yeah. Once the gun is fired, the scene is over. An effective jump scare can take Makes time, sense. even oh, the my. majority of the movie in some cases. I didn't even but if see done right, hand. the build up will be well worth it. One great example of build up is this nurse station scene in The Exorcist. That's the, the movie camera doesn't move at hard. all for about three nice. minutes, while nurses and security guards shuffle three around. Three minutes. We know oh, something God. is about to happen. We just don't know when, and it takes its time to get there. Oh. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, I have a little baby. I can't deal with some of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of a single shot, okay. this scene no, in Insidious it, is another great example it. of building tension. Only instead of a single shot, we alternate back and forth between two characters when it's yeah, yeah, yeah. The conversation goes on for about two minutes before the demon finally appears. And even though we know something is about to happen, watch this. Happen. When it does, we're caught off guard. The wardrobe scene in The Conjuring takes place over about two minutes after the first breakdown. Director James lets the scene play out very slowly okay, with a creeping sense of dread. Hello? The scene in Jason Takes Manhattan oh, is also long, about two minutes. But Jason is revealed so early on in the scene with no buildup about one minute after it starts. This movie also so sucks. the only thing we're waiting so. for is for the couple to see him 30 seconds later. For us as the audience, there's no tension, no anxiety. <sighs> During this period of buildup, the the best horror movies will use a distraction oh. to further amp up the tension. That was like in the conjuring as well. Think of this part like a magic trick. You're encouraged to look in one direction, while the real threat is happening elsewhere. Oh my goodness. That, in this oh famous God, scene yeah. in Jaws, we're distracted by the discovery of a tooth. Oh, and we're expecting to see a shark. Instead, we get a corpse. That's in The Sixth Sense, corpse. when Cole and the audience oh, are so focusing okay. on the closet, an arm shoots that, out from those the Those were what I was looking at. This, didn't, this doesn't work. Because I was too busy looking at the doll, so by the time this hand came out, I wasn't even paying attention. One common and often overused Damn word it. of misdirection is the mirror trope. <laughs> where the protagonist opens a medicine cabinet, for example. Oh, shut up. Alone at first, when it shuts, something is standing behind them. Surprise! The trope was first used in Roman Polanski's 1965 film Repulsion, Repulsion. and can be found in numerous other films to Dawn. <laughs> In The Conjuring, both the camera yeah, and the girl are focused on the closet. Yeah, think yeah, something yeah. is inside of it, ready to jump out. But in reality, the threat is actually <laughs> on top of the wardrobe. Jason takes Manhattan, doesn't even try to fool us at all. The main character has a movie have a sense of security. But we as the viewer already know where the threat is the entire time. This brings us to another visual trick with jump scares, making the audience feel more anxious by limiting what they can see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anything that you can do to limit the character and through that, the audience's frame of vision oh, my. will always increase the, the anxiety. And I'm scared. There are two ways of accomplishing No! No, 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 no. first. Some common tricks are to use a camera flash, like and lighting. Let's take a look at lighting uh, first. Some common okay. tricks are to use I don't know what this jump scare like would be. This scene in Mama. Or device Mama. Like night vision goggles in oh. the descent to narrow the I remember I saw this scene on TikTok and it scared me Notice so how bad. How much of the scene is obscured <gasps> in these shots? Oh my goodness, I got it. Very little space to feel safe. All of these things have what we call The Conjuring was like one of the scariest movies I've seen. It's so bad. I was with all my friends and I like had my said, you can still have jump scares during the day. But these require a bigger buildup, as we mentioned earlier, for them to- I mean, actually, yeah. Just look at this terrifying moment in Mulholland Drive. Oh, We don't guys. see the creature outside the diner until after an entire three minute long buildup of conversation- I don't say anything. <laughs> The Conjuring limited how much we can see slow. by having only one small lamp by the bed in an otherwise dark room, far away from the wardrobe. Oh. Jason, Let's on the other hand, again. is standing in a brightly lit Times Square, where the only yeah, time he's yeah, yeah. is when two people pass in front of him. The other way to limit view is by using the camera. It is very common in horror films to limit the character's kind of vision, their frame of reference. Hello. Looking through keyholes. They might be trapped in a closet and they're no. out slats of a closet and really kind of limit okay. how much they Thank can you. see. Thank you. And with that, you are limited oh, no. how much ah! the audience can see as well. Let's take a look at this scene in The Shining. Oh, shut up. The camera is following Danny. So yeah, he, yeah, as the yeah. audience, can't see around the corners of the hall until he does. Ah! When Arbogast is walking, oh my goodness, two girls ride. Right. The camera is focused oh. on him. So we are also blind to what's around him and what's about to happen. It creates an added sense of anxiety in the movie. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, the tighter you are and the more confined you are and the less information you have about the situation. Uh, oh, what the heck? Scary. 
and camera movements can also force you into areas you wouldn't normally Hello? choose to go. If the closet is slightly open, the camera may start pushing into the Can darkness go in? slightly. The filmmaker is forcing you as the audience to get closer to it, whether you want to um, or sometimes the camera will hold perfectly still. And that in itself can be equally anxious because no. we're used to movement and cuts and things like that. And when a scare finally appears, it's typically accompanied by a loud sound. Oh my goodness. This movie did mess me up a little bit, but I was also watching Dead Meat, so. As a sting. Remember, I could never watch it. A good example of a sting yeah. can actually be heard in the opening credits of Insidious, a film that is full of effective jump scares. Hello. The crash accentuates the moment we are supposed to be scared. It's certainly a sting when the witch appears in The Conjuring, accompanied by a camera push in. And there's actually two that hurt my ears. in Manhattan. These are both ineffective since we've already seen Jason. There's no peak moment of anxiety that is elevated by the sound. A sting can only work so well without a Oh my goodness. There are numerous examples of this in horror films, where the jump scare and the loud sting come completely out of nowhere. Sure, you may be startled, but this fear won't last. Deep Blue Sea has a memorable jump scare with a sting, That's a but there's no big red crumb, no build up. And so while the scene is certainly violent and unexpected, there's also no real fear after the shark eats him, and the absurdity of it all might just make you laugh instead. Oh my goodness. No. All of the work to build up the scare, the threat needs to hold up as well. Oh my. In a lot of movies, the threat isn't real, that but it can still make you jump. Oh my goodness, what the oh heck? Gosh, the closet doors opening, we're getting closer, 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 the music's swelling. The Run! And then it's a cat. Cats have had more jump scares in horror history Scary. than any monster ever had. Like in the Amityville Horror, when one just appears outside the window. Ah. One of the most famous fake scares, it's actually not a cat, was this bus in the 1942 film Cat People. Ah! This scene that was actually really, really scary. Mimic the fake scare and has become known as the Luton bus technique, named after the film's producer Val Luton. Another famous That's example of this is the pop tart scene in Silent Hill. Pop oh my goodness! Oh, it might make you jump. That There's in nothing time. terrifying like about a pop tart unless you have a gluten allergy. Horror movies are littered with these types of cheap scares, which ultimately I hurt the them. movie as a whole because Thank they you. haven't been earned and don't move the story forward. The best way to use a jump scare is to not overuse it. Too many yeah, jump scares yeah, takes yeah. away from the impact of them, and sometimes you don't even need them at all. In fact, Best Picture winner The Sound is yawning, doesn't so. even have one jump scare in the entire movie. But it's still the classic scary, Texas Chainsaw like, Massacre only has two. If you're just up here the, the whole door? time, you, you go flat. There's nowhere else to go. And so it's Over. all about kind of, you know, taking the audience on a roller coaster ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Years, but not trying to keep them suspended in the air the entire time. And when a jump scare does work well, You'll know because uh, you'll see it pop at? up again and again, replicated in newer films as a tribute to its original okay. success and the work that went into crafting it. What the heck? Well, guys, so I think that. You know, I remember always looking at this video and thinking it was going to be so scary. Besides the sinister thing, I didn't do bad. So, you guys, thanks for watching, everyone. Um. Give me more scary, scary movies to watch, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.